In this video, I will show you several ways to handle the incoming deals. The first option is to use Lotus Miner command to decide the price and the size you accept. For example, you can use Lotus Miner storage deals set ask command to set the price of the ask for verified and unverified deals, and also set the minimum and maximum piece size you accept. The second option is to edit the config file of your market node. For example, in deal making section, you can decide how to deal with online deal, offline deal, verified deal, and unverified deal, and also retrieval deals. The third option is to use a script file to decide to accept or reject deals sent from certain addresses. For example, this script will reject deals sent by this address. Now let's try to send some online deals to this miner. This is a calibration net miner that already dealt with many storage deals and retrieval deals. First, uh, query this miner to get the price and the size, piece size. And now let's try to send an online unverified deal to this miner. T024557. The command is Lotus client deal with data CID, minor price, and duration. There is a dash extra dash edge deleted and then sent. Now let's go to this miner to look at this deal. Okay, it's rejected storage price per epoch less than asking price. So, so let's try to set the price to zero and try again. And send the send the deal again. Okay, the price is set to zero. And send. Okay, the the deal is re rejected again because of the piece size. So then let's set uh minimum p size to okay okay to 8 8 megabyte the minimum p size is changed and send again Okay, now we can see the deal is sent successfully and it is already in the deal transferring status. So now let's try to uh, block this address, edit the config file. No, add, no edit the filter script. Uh, add this address to the list. and then send the deal again.
All right, we can see the deal is rejected because the deals from this client wallet is are not welcome. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.